uh, had not expired. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Because there's literally aluminum and bearing contamination found around the world, believed to be from these programs. Like, look today over the Capitol, looks like they're deploying some type of aerosol. Did you see it? No, I didn't, but you see it. In a James Bond scenario, some rogue rich guy puts some airplanes in the air and sees the clouds. What is to prevent that? Okay, are you aware of the issue? You do it through the other. Are you in support of those proposals? What is your take? I don't know anything about it. I've got a chair here. Okay, we'll okay, give you a letter on that. Yeah, this is a letter from constituents. Okay, great. Excellent. And, and many people believe that these programs have already been deployed because mass contamination has been found. Uh, geoengineering programs, stratospheric. Yeah. Spraying, spraying from airplanes. So we're, what, what is happening, people from around the world are finding contamination. Let me take care of this and I'll talk to you when I come back. I'll be back. Thank you very much. We see that um, even though we might make the average temperature of the planet about right, the rainfall patterns change some from today. And some places become warmer, and some places become cooler. So uh, there are going to be winners and losers in this geoengineering activity if we were to do it. But nevertheless, as David has said, uh, there are reasons why we might consider doing it. Many people are deeply concerned about it because of the toxicity of aluminum, and it has been addressed to Congress and various committees. Would you take a look at a letter from some of your constituents addressing the concerns? Oh, excuse me. Okay. Um, can I give you a, a letter from constituents? Are you aware of their proposals of dumping? Gotcha. Thanks. Well, I'm not familiar with it, so. Uh... I don't know what they're doing. Okay. Um, well, geoengineers are proposing uh, just that dumping aluminum and barium into the atmosphere. Why would uh, we do that? Aluminum is a precious metal we can use. Well, the stated goal is to actually cool the planet. However, uh, there's a. <laughs> Sounds strange. Right, right. Yeah. Exactly. So they're proposing dumping these metals into the air uh, to block the sun, essentially. Um, we're here to find out what uh, members of Congress well, are I hope aware. we would have a strong hearing on that before we I, decide to do that. I would hope so. so. And there's Thank plenty you. of evidence that not only suggests that these programs have been deployed because we're finding contamination of aluminum and barium on the rain, uh, snow, and soil. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. How many county has seen 200 percent increase in Alzheimer's over the last decade? Mm -hmm. Tons of uh, ground and water samples showing high levels of aluminum all around our state. Why don't you give me all the information you have? I have some very good people I will assign it to. Okay. And um, if you get it to Mr. Lavelle, okay. we will He's get got it my to card right. and send me an email. And Lavelle, okay. we will He's get got it my to card right. and send me an email. And yeah. we'll Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll right. be in touch. Okay. We are investigating this, and there's literally a mountain of evidence that suggests that these okay. programs Okay, move are that mountain up. over to us. You got Let's it. take a look at it. And, and look up, Thank keep you. looking up into the sky, and you'll see some of it. Too. Oh, okay. okay. You will. You All can right. see the aerosols being sprayed out of airplanes quite a bit. Okay. So thank you. Yeah, the future of humanity is definitely dependent on it, so we're counting on people like yourself to uh, take some uh, proactive steps. So thank you very much, guys. You're very welcome. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Right. A lot of Congress was uh, running down the hallways to avoid uh, answering any questions, looking for doors in the hallways. So. Apparently, the war is against all of us, and we're all in a hostage crisis. People who took an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution are not only know this is happening, are participating in this. And all of us have a duty to stand up and speak out about it. Why is the water being contaminated? Why is the soil being contaminated? Why are aluminum-related diseases going up and it's affecting all of us? And thus, we all have the duty to stand up and speak out and get educated and, and stop this. For our own sake, for our children's sake, it is a crucial moment in history right now. As human beings, we need to decide whether to live on our knees while being sprayed and poisoned every day, while being under a continual threat, or whether we are going to stand up and, and live as, as free human beings and seek 
truth, justice, peace, and freedom for, for all, all of God's children. So as you can see, we're ending our film here in Washington, D.C. We've made many public officials aware of this. Most of them either denied any knowledge of this or they simply uh, were unwilling to address uh, the situation with us. So as you can see right behind the White House, we do have aerosols behind us. The spraying has continued. What is the solution? Is the solution here in Washington, D.C.? Clearly, this is one of the solutions, but the solution is not only here. The solution is within you. This issue affects all of us so deeply. So you need to look inside. Please get active, get involved, start spreading the word with growing awareness. About 90% of the population, we believe, is unaware of this issue, which means 90% of the people who normally might do something if they knew are not doing anything because they are unaware. So please look into your heart, use whatever skill you have to get the word out. The future of humanity is dependent upon it.